Welcome back to the Water Station, my middle man. I'm Water Patrol, and today we're back with Demon Slayer. Last off, we had Tanjiro and Nezuko, the only survivors, pretty much. Tanjiro's whole family died. In this episode, I think they are going to the old man in some village, and he's probably gonna explain the plot pretty much, like what they need to do, where they need to go, how he can fight in order to save Nezuko, if it is even possible. If you want to support Uncut Reactions, join the Patreon and like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the episode. Is this going to the past again? I wonder. <laughs> Tanjiro's a nice guy, I guess. What the fuck? Oh, the opening. I can't listen to this here because it's copyright, but... I'll skip to the end of the opening. I actually skipped the opening because I don't want to get spoiled at all. I want to go fully blind. Yeah, because she's gonna burn if he does, she does. Why does she need to go to the basket? Is that really the best way? <laughs> Why is she just laying there? Like dead. Oh, she fits, actually. <laughs> Tanjiro's very polite. He thanks for everything and pays for everything. Oh, maybe... Someone's gonna help them from the temple. Maybe it's the hunter guy again. Nah, man. Why is it so gory? It's a real demon. So this is gonna be the first actual fight, I, get, I think. And she wants to eat them! What the fuck? That was so fast. From both sides. Uh, oh my god. It's like Dio from Jojo. I think that the guy that saved them last time is gonna... No, Nezuko's! <laughs> okay, he dead. It's still moving? Surely that's just a, like, reflex. What the fuck? Nezuko got yeeted! 100 kilometers per hour. I see. He has the fucking mark on his head. Maybe he's been doing this before. Hitting his head in shit. <laughs> I guess Tanjiro's dead now. Oh. No. He got grabbed, nice. Oh, this is really weird. He's gonna just have to... Like... Awkwardly stab the head when it's sleeping. Usopp. Who the fuck are you? Your own head. Well, he used his own head to bash the shit out of him. What? Is the badass grandpa? Empathy, yes. But what is this aura around him? And who is Kyu? He can't do shit. It's so weird. How do we kill him? Sunlight. So that's how we get rid of them. We just grab them to the sunshine. What the fuck, man? Where is she? Oh, <laughs> she's in the basket, just sleeping. Oh, so this is the guy. What will you do if your sister devotes a human? That's a good question. Because he's weak, he doesn't have resolve. Exactly. Fit to become a demon slave. It's the training arc. And this is looking beautiful again. Look at the CGI. No. Oh my god, was she the... Of course she was the fucking one that worked the hardest. I think. This is sad. What the fuck? He's... He's busted, you can't move. Oh my god, the test is to fight a demon. I guess. Is the old man just trolling him? 
This mountain is. Oh shit! That's an interesting concept to use mountains for training. What is this show? The powers are sniffing. <laughs> yeah. It's really the training arc now. So the grandpa is taking care of Nezuko. He's an empath. Oh, Tanjiro. Hello there. Oh, this is the from the first episode guy talking. Oh, his name is Q. Okay. Okay, now I get it. It's time to go to sleep, man. He is exhausted as all hell. This was very, 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 very much explaining. It's done in an interesting way. So, breathing, smelling, and Tanjiro also needs to get physically stronger. Then Nezuko, she seems to be clear. She's not eating anyone, at least not for now. I wonder what Gayu is up to, but we'll see. Next episode, I, I guess it's the training arc continuing, but... Like, soup, and bye-bye.